Good day, I am Nina Kina Ansano, and we will be presenting to you the autobiography of the anti-manic drugs, specifically the lithium carbonate. For my generic names, they are lithium carbonate, lithium citrate, carbamazepin, divalpurex sodium, gabapentin, lamotrigine, levetiracetam, oxarbabrazepin, tiagabin hydrochloride, topamorate, valproate sodium, and valproic acid. And for my brand names, they are Escalith, Sabalith, Tegretol, Depakote, Neurontin, Lamictal, Capraplas, Trileptal, Gabitril, Topamax, and Vipakin. And for my chemical name, it is For the drug classification of lithium carbonate, for therapeutic, I belong to antimanic and antipsychotic. For pharmacologic, I belong to alkali metal. My pregnancy category is pregnancy category D. My mechanism of action is still unknown. However, the inositol depletion theory suggests three main potential targets. These targets are inositol monophosphatase, inositol polyphosphatase, and glycogen synthase kinase 3. For my pharmacokinetics, lithium is thought to exert its antipsychotic and antimanic effects by competing with other cations for exchange at the sodium potassium ion pump, thus, altering cation exchange of the tissue level. It also inhibits adenyl cyclase reducing intracellular levels of CAMP and to a lesser extent cyclic guanosine monophosphate. My rate and extent of absorption vary with dosage form. Absorption is complete within 6 hours of oral administration from conventional tablets and capsules. I am distributed widely throughout the body, including breast milk, levels in thyroid gland, bone and brain tissue exceed serum levels steady state serum level achieved in 12 hours therapeutic effect begins in 5 to 10 days and is maximal within three weeks therapeutic and toxic serum levels and therapeutic effects show good correlation i am not metabolized and i excreted 95 percent unchanged in urine about 50% to 80% of a given dose is excreted within 24 hours. Level of renal function determines elimination rate. My indications, I prevent or control of mania, prevention of depression in patients with bipolar illness. For adults who has acute episodes, 1.8 grams or 30 ml of lithium citrate per RM daily in 2 or 3 divided doses or 20 to 30 milligrams per kilogram daily in 2 or 3 divided doses to maintain lithium levels. For maintenance dosage, 900 milligrams to 1.2 grams or 15 to 20 ml of oral solution per RM. In 2 to 4 divided doses to maintain serum lithium concentration, Usual maintenance dosage does not exceed 2.4 grams daily. In elderly patients, 600 to 900 milligrams daily for acute episodes. I am also indicated in major depression, schizoaffective disorder, schizophrenic disorder, alcoholic dependence. In adults, they need 300 milligrams lithium carbonate. I am also used to treat apparent mixed bipolar disorder in children and a chemotherapy induced neutropenia in children and patients with AIDS receiving Zydovudin. For my contraindications, I am contraindicated to patients who has allergy to lithium, significant renal and cardiac diseases, history of leukemia, metabolic disorder, dehydration, diuretic use, protracted diarrhea, excessive sweating, pregnancy lactation, and lastly, women of childbearing age are advised to use birth control while taking the drug. For the side and adverse effects, 
central nervous system, tremors, drowsiness, headache, confusion, restlessness, dizziness, psychomotor retardation, lethargy, coma, blackouts, epileptiform, seizures, EEG changes, worsen organic mental syndrome, impaired speech, ataxia, muscle weakness, and coordination. For the cardiovascular is reversible ECG changes, arrhythmias, hypotension, and bradycardia. For the eyes, ears, nose, and throat is tinnitus and blurred vision. For the gastrointestinal is dry mouth, metallic taste, nausea, vomiting, and anorexia, diarrhea, thirst, abdominal pain, flatulence, and indigestion. For the genital urinary system is polyuria, glycosuria, renal toxicity with long-term use, and albuminuria. For hematologic is leukocytosis with WBC count of 14,000 to 18,000 per cubic millimeter and elevated neutrophil count. For metabolic is greater, transient hyperglycemia, hypothyroidism, and hyponatremia. For skin is pruritus, rash, diminished or absent sensation, drying and thinning of hair, psoriasis, acne, and alopecia. Others is ankle and wrist edema. Now for the nursing responsibilities. Before administration, assess for mentioned cautions and contraindications like drug allergies, renal or cardiovascular diseases, suicidal or impulsive patients with severe depression, dehydration, and sodium depletion, and etc. to prevent any untoward complications. Second is, perform a thorough physical assessment. Note other medications taken, central nervous system, skin, respirations, and laboratory tests like serum lithium levels, thyroid, liver, and renal function tests, and complete blood count to establish baseline data before drug therapy begins to determine effectiveness of therapy and to evaluate for occurrence of any adverse effects associated with drug therapy. During administration, first is administer drug cautiously and monitor serum lithium levels daily to monitor for toxic levels and to arrange for appropriate drug dose adjustment. Second, administer drug with food or milk to reduce GI discomfort if present. Third, Arrange to decrease dose after acute manic episodes because lithium tolerance is greatest during acute episodes and decreases when the acute episode is over. Fourth is, provide comfort measures like sugarless lozenges and frequent mouth care and etc. to help patient tolerate drug effects. Fifth is, provide safety measures like adequate lighting, raised side rails, and etc. to prevent injuries. And lastly, educate client on drug therapy to promote understanding and compliance. After administration, monitor patient response to therapy like decreased manifestations and frequency of manic episodes. Second, monitor for adverse effects like cardiovascular toxicity, renal toxicity, GI upset, respiratory complications, and etc. Third is, Evaluate patient understanding on drug therapy by asking patient to name the drug, its indication, and adverse effects to watch for. Lastly, monitor patient compliance to drug therapy. That would be all. Thank you and God bless.